Recently, I picked up a new freight car. A Walther's model of Burlington Northern 9320, an AAR type RPL reefer. I got it new, for about 30 bucks. Which is surprising, because I almost never buy freight cars brand new. Today, I am going to be reviewing it based off of the quality of the model, not so much for prototypical accuracy. Starting off under the car, it comes with a very detailed underframe, and metal wheel sets. The highly detailed braking system is a nice touch. Moving on to the car body, all the lettering was legible. On the other end of the car, all the lettering in the cot stencil was legible under magnification. Though the lettering on the door was minimal, through research, I found it was prototypical. One detail I wish had been added was a car track barcode, something I saw in photos of the prototype car. The reporting mark and road number on the end of the car was also legible. The paint on the car was very smoothly applied, and all the logos were level and fine, and the yellow paint was matched very nicely. I only found two cases of chipped paint, on a ladder rung on the end of the car, and a step. Because the car is a bright yellow, the chips are barely noticeable. There was only one paint bubble, on the BN logo. Also, the car probably had the most beautiful brake wheel I had ever seen. There was a teeny bit of glue visible on the underside of the top door track, but still, not too noticeable. Well, thank you for watching this review of this awesome Walther's reefer. It's the perfect addition to your diesel era freight train. Hey, if you like this video, please consider subscribing for more content.